Well, at the time when this news was released, it's pretty much some would put the nail on the coffin of the big rumors of Aaron Judge going to the Giants, which was floated not just this offseason, but even before this offseason in general happened as well. But of course, that one got answered, and we'll get to that one shortly. But for now, what is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993 back here for some more baseball news, as the San Francisco Giants did indeed sign a very good outfielder, but it was not Aaron Judge. It was former Mariners outfielder Mitch Haniger, who signed a three-year deal with the Giants back on December 6th, purportedly worth $43.5 million guaranteed, which allows him to opt out after the first two seasons of the contract. Uh, he'll receive a $6 million signing bonus up front, followed by a $5 million salary in, in 2023 and $17 million in 2024. At the point that he'll decide whether to bypass the final season with and 15.5 remaining, but he will receive a 1 million assignment bonus if traded as well. Uh, again, Mitch Haniger, of course, you know, has def is definitely a strong upgrade. He has not had a consistent career, though, mainly because of his health. He has had his fair share of injuries, but of course, he has topped a 490 slugging percentage in three separate campaigns, and he's twice got more than 25 home runs. Um, again, definitely some very strong numbers for sure. Um, as he got in 2018, of course, was probably uh, his breakout season um, when he hit 285, and he also got an all-star all nod, and also was in the 11th place finish in the American MVP voting that year, which I did not know that. And again, injuries hampered him in 2019 and 2020 um, as well. Um, he underwent a core surgery uh, during the offseason and missing the entirety of the abbreviated 2020 season. Uh, and then, of course, you know, 2021, though, he came back and he had the best year of his career. Um, he had 691 play appearances in a career-high 39 home runs. Uh, and he was also, of course, a part of the Seattle's big push to the postseason that they unfortunately just came up short, though, in 2021. An ankle injury, um, again, though, um, did uh, limit him this past season. He only played, I think, like 50 games or whatnot. He hit just 246 with 11 homers. When healthy, he was still hitting good. But, of course, obviously, you know, the healthy, you know, you know wasn't there this past year. Uh, and of course, the Mariners, I believe, did, did consider making Haniger a qualifying offer, but they decided not to go forward with the qualifying offer. Actually, if the Mariners were not in contention for the playoffs at the trade deadline, there were rumors that they were looking to maybe trade him. But, of course, they did not. But now, of course, he will go to um, the Giants, um, who, you know, it is probably in the middle I would say they could probably finish maybe third in the division right now. Because they had two years ago, they had like a surprising, like great year. But then last year was kind of a step back for them, for sure. Um, but of course, the Dodgers, which the Dodgers surprisingly did not do much at all uh, during the winter meetings. I think the Dodgers may be on a slight bit of a downward, um, might, might not be as strong of a team this coming year. Still good contending, but not as strong as they were the past several years. But um, I think definitely the Dodgers and Potters are going to be, you know, fighting it out up top. Giants being a solid third, and up above, above the Diamondbacks and Rockies also. Uh, but yeah, I know the Mariners were thinking about still trying to bring it back though. But of course, obviously with their crowded outfield, you know, they did, you know, um. Let him walk in free agency. They traded Jesse Winker to the, the Brewers and Kyle Lewis to the Diamondbacks. Uh, obviously, they may continue exploring the market for outfielders to, to put in there with Julio Rodriguez and Teoscar Hernandez, who they just acquired from the Blue Jays. But, of course, we'll wait and see. And, of course, uh, Hanniger is going to join an outfield with, of course, Mike Yastrzemski and uh, Jock Peterson as well. Uh, again, this was definitely though the sign that it was definitely going to be uh, shutting down um, the um, 
the run for Aaron Judge because he would, of course, re-sign with the Yankees. We'll talk about that in an upcoming video as well. But still a good move. Again, I like Hanniger for sure. Um, when healthy, of course, he's definitely an MVP caliber candidate. He hits, you know, decent average, good power, driving RBI. He's definitely number three or four hitter guy. Because, uh, again, since Bonds, to be honest, the Giants haven't really had anybody consistently that hit for good power. So this, of course, again, will help them for sure. As long, of course, as Hanniger is indeed healthy. But I still think if you were going to get Aaron Judge, this is also a great option right here for sure with Mitch Hanniger. So guys, that is my thoughts on Mitch Hanniger signing a three-year deal with the Giants. Thus, basically shutting the door on Aaron Judge coming to the Bay Area. What are you guys' thoughts on this signing as well? Do you think Mitch Hanniger was a great pickup? Do you think he could, of course, be an MVP caliber player? If healthy, of course. Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comments section below. Be sure as always to slap a like on the video, subscribe for more content on my channel, and follow me on Twitter as well at the Club of the Man 93. Until then, guys, as always, I'm checking out. Please, as always, stay tuned for some more baseball news. Have a great rest of your night. Peace out, everybody.